Hi guys, here's another video, slightly different to my usual. Uh, I've been looking at this drum kit on the internet. Um, I've made a offer of 75 quid and I've accepted. Just need a drum kit just for training in the house or practice in the house. Um, so here it is, so I've collected it, 75 quid. It's got these tinny little um, hi-hat and crash. It's a D2 drum kit. And there it is there. Um, I'm going to have to cut this uh, bass drum down so it moves back a bit as you can see because um, I've only been allotted this space so I need a bit more room okay so here you can see me just dismantling the kit just to make a bit more space um, I'm gonna have to do most of this work inside so I'm gonna cut this bass drum in half so you can see me just doing my measurements here and I'll just speed up certain sections of the video just to make it uh, shorter okay so I'm just gonna use this tape to protect the um, drum because I'm gonna use an electric saw, circular saw I don't want to scratch the uh, drum. I'm just speed this section up also. And I'm just going to run another bit of tape around the other side as well. And I'm going to have to cut between the two lines. So you can see I'm just getting ready to cut it. And uh, I'm going to wear a face, face mask because these little blue bits are like glass when they shard off. So you can see me just cutting the drum here. And there you can see I've successfully cut it in half. This is the good half. So, brought it back inside, just gonna get rid of some of this dust as the weather is not too good outside, so I'm gonna have to do most of this inside. So I'm just gonna back up, um, get rid of these bits of dust off here. You can see me just back in the unit, all the units now. Just give us some of this sawdust. And uh, maybe I should have done this from the beginning, but I'm just going to remove the drum cover to speed this section up also, because there's quite a few clamps. There you can see me just removing the drum cover from the one side. And let me just show you here. Um, it's a smooth hedge. I'm going to have to move that bracket as well. The smooth hedge there, which you see me highlighted. And because I've cut it, it's got a rough edge on the other side. So this is the good side here. So what I'm going to do is just use my um, sander just to um, make it nice and smooth smooth edges so it doesn't cut into the uh, drum cover or the drum skin there you can see I've got it nice and smooth there or smooth enough so what I've got to do is put the brackets on the little um, chrome bracket you can see there I've got to fit it on take it off the old unit and fit it on this one or the rough cut unit and put it on this one or the scrap unit so I'm, I've just used a template. I made a template just to mark out where I've got to drill the holes. Just speed this section up also. And I've marked it here. Little two little black marks. Then I'm just going to use a pilot drill just to make a start on each of the holes. A sharp pilot drill there. And just speed this section up also because um, there's uh, probably about 20 holes plus to drill. So I'll just fast forward it here. And that's the last one there. Get it a little clean up. 
Um, I've used this, this is the only tape I could find, but it uh, leaves residue on, leaves residues on the drum. So here you can see me just fitting the uh, brackets on for the clamps, which hold the drum skin together, which I've just pre-drilled the holes. So I've just got to do it all the way around, just fitting another bracket there. And then it's just a matter of screwing it in to uh, retaining screws. I've got to do that all the way around. And um, you can see me just clean off bits of the tape residue. When I remove the tape, it left this a sticky residue so with this rough edge i'm just going to put uh, where all the the blue trims um cracked i'm just going to put a bit of black tape around it just to make it look good even though it was the drum cover will cover this so you can see me just fit the drum cover on the rough side what which i cut And I'll have to speed this section up also because there's quite a few clamps. So I'll just speed this up. Okay. So now I'm going to just fit the other, just show you what the unit looks like now. That was the rough side. So now, all I've got to do now is put the other drum cover back on. And then uh, clamp that down. I'll have to speed this section up also because there's quite a few clamps. And now I'm just going to put the legs on, but before that I'll just show you what the unit looks like. Now that I've cut it down, not too bad if I say so myself. So here, I'll just show you what it looks like with the pedal on. I'll have to put that little hole on as well. Draw that out and just show you around the unit here. That's what the unit looks like complete, the base. Doesn't sound too bad. It's like I said, it's just my practice drum kit. And I've got neighbors, so I'm gonna have to sort out the sound. So it's not too loud. Okay, so, um. I've had a look on uh, Facebook and I've managed to find some stands for sale for £35, which were local. And I've gone and picked them up and here they are here. There's quite a lot more than I expected. Some decent makes as well. I've got a Pearl there and a Mapex and uh, quite a few um, snare, snare stands also. Good brands. There's a Natal there. So um, I think these were stored in a shed, so there's a little bit of rust on them. So what I've done, just put a bit of oil on it and a bit of Brillo and um, just give it a scrub like that. It's only surface rust. And as you can see here, let me just zoom in and show you, they clean up quite nicely. So I've just got to clean the whole thing. And I've managed to find um, a decent Yamaha snare stand and three stands, two crash and a ride. Decent mates as well. Pearl, Natal there and Mino and they've scrubbed up nicely so I'll keep these for when I get a decent set because they're good quality stands so I've managed to um, source these um, off quiet pads for the drums and a set of cymbal packs which are low volume so these abhorrent things can go in the bin Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting the kit together. As you can see here, just fast forward this. Just fitting the stands with the uh, 
symbols and the rest of the kit and voila that's the kit fully assembled there to show you around it got the sound deadness on as well as the silent symbols or quiet symbols don't sound too bad sound a lot better than the uh, original Yep, sounds a lot better. And also, I've managed to put together a decent uh, stand, music stand. That's the original um, bass there, which I'll discard. And that's the kit complete. So with that, thanks for watching once again, and please subscribe.